Twice a month, you can learn a little more about the galaxy at the Stanford Observatory. This Friday evening, the talk was about stars and star charts. The lecture series on astronomy has a, a great variety of topics. This evening, we're talking about star charts and how to use them, their origins, and virtually anything you can think of that applies to star charts. Um, I was remember knowing where all the planets were on my way home from work when I was still in high school. And when I was at college, I used to go outside at night and, and check to make sure all the stars were where they belong. And it gave me solace. So exactly where I learned the stuff along the line, I'm not sure. But um, kids are really good. I was telling somebody, um, and people say, what age is appropriate? You know, and I've had three-year-olds naming all their planets, and I've had six-year-olds leaving a planetarium in tears. Um, they, they're very excited, they're very um, interested, you know, how do I know this, how, how can I, how long does it take you to learn these things? It's like, take it slowly, you have your whole life, and so just a lot of fun. And those that attended the event say they learned a lot and hope to learn even more in the future. I learned, like, a lot, like, the, 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 like the dipper, um, I learned a lot, and... And like I remember, like on the big star, it, it, it you can see it more often in August, and you could. They have this big telescope in Arizona that's doing a project mapping the universe, and they're trying to record everything. It's a very big project, and so far it's taken I think ten years or so to get this far. But their program that identifies things gets things wrong sometimes. So they're asking the public to help them identify some of the things that were misclassified before they managed to fix the error. If you'd like to learn more about the lecture series, please visit the Stanford Museum's website, www.stanfordmuseum.org, or come on any Friday night to visit Scoville and observe the sky.